Well, contaminants in your drinking water can lead to all kinds of illnesses, and this is Michigan's Drinking Water Week. And Tom Burzma, the general manager for drinking water treatment units at NSF International, joins us live this morning. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Now, see, this is not to scare me about my tap water now, not is at it? All. But there are situations where you do have to be careful because there are contaminants in a lot of cases in, in tap water. That's correct. The U.S. is very fortunate to have a very safe water supply. Detroit has a very, very safe water supply. There are consumer confidence reports that are published annually for each of the public utilities, so consumers can look at those reports and know how safe their water supply actually is. Mm -hmm. But still, there's a number of consumers in the marketplace that are interested in having some treatment device in the home. Here's some examples of ones that are available. They're very common in the marketplace today. Day, and they do provide consumers, certainly for things like taste and odor, issues that the public utility may not deal with directly, but also for health contaminants as well. All right, let me ask you this. Are there different situations, like let's say you purchase a new home. I, I would think that you purchase a new home, you'll probably say, ah, oh, there's nothing wrong here. This is a new house, new construction, or you should be more concerned if you lived in an older home. Well, what happens if you live in an apartment? It's a very good question. Uh, there are reports available no matter where you are within the distribution system. If you're a paying customer to a utility, they'll provide that information to you. But in terms of the water quality in each of those situations, it really is going to vary. Older homes have the potential for more contaminants depending upon the type of plumbing supply. Mm -hmm. We've improved in the quality of those materials over time. Uh, apartment buildings, same type of thing depending on the age of the building. What we encourage consumers to do is first get their water tested or look for reference materials like the consumer confidence reports, talk to the local health departments, they'll have a good idea of potential contaminants in the water. Once they understand that, then they can start to look and see what kind of treatment devices are available to meet that need. Now, are these things expensive? Can you install them yourself? Great question. They range in complexity. All the ones here are very simple to install, all very consumer friendly. Some actually don't require any installation. Others, like the faucet mount systems, this particular style mm -hmm. mounts to the faucet. Price range, they're going to be anywhere for as little as $20 up to several hundred dollars, depending upon the capacity of the system, how many contaminants gotcha. it can remove. Uh, in the type of technology. Now, the interesting thing is I think people, when they, when they talk about water, they think mostly just of drinking water, mm -hmm. but it also affects, like, when you do your, your laundry. Sure. And that way, and even when you take a shower. Exactly. Yeah, and there are treatment devices that deal with those, those uh, larger volumes of water as well. There are shower filters. We have one example here that can be installed on the shower head. There are water softener mm -hmm. treatment systems, very common in the Midwest for hard water supply, which affects the laundry. So absolutely, there's a whole range of treatment technologies available. You talked about getting your water treated. How important is it to test some features that are probably already in place, such as the plumbing? Uh, it is important to periodically test the water just to have a, an understanding of what the wa water quality characteristics can be, particularly for lead, uh, which is a health contaminant and can be relevant to the public water supply at the, at the tap. Not so much in the distribution, but mm -hmm. in the residence itself, lead can become an issue. We encourage consumers, if they have that concern, have their water tested and then look for products that can remove lead. When they look for products, look for products that are certified. There's strict standards to give consumers confidence that the products they're buying can remove the contaminants they claim. There's an NSF mark that they'll find on the product that shows it's been independently tested to deliver those contaminant reduction capabilities. All right, you know what? And now I feel so much better because it is right there on the back of this device. It's so small, I can't show it to you, but now I know. Never knew what that meant, but now I do. Thank Excellent. you so much for your time this morning. It's a pleasure. Thank I appreciate you. Appreciate it. And we'll be right back.